morning everyone I really hope that this is working because I am pretty darn sure I cannot get internet out here let's see I'm so excited. I just barely am getting some internet. So that is awesome. And see what we can do. Good morning. I have a different spot in the yard. The dogs are out so that I can be out here with you. Maybe if I put the computer this way, it's a little closer to the house. And I can get some internet. Holy smokes, I got it. All right, here we are. Yay. Well, good morning, Brian. Thank you. Good morning, Alicia. This makes me happy. So you guys get to see one more amazing space in the backyard here. The dogs needed to be out this morning. This is Daisy. Here's Roscoe. And Gunner's doing something else. These three amazing beasts are why I'm staying at my friend's house. Because everybody knows I'm a dog person. Yay! So I'm ready for our practice today. Overslept a lot. I am enjoying that gigantic bed. Here's everybody checking in. This is Daisy. Hey Daisy. And the the spotted one is Roscoe, and the one with not as many spots is Gunner. They're amazing. Oh no, your AC's out. Barbara said, hey Daisy. And hi Roscoe and hi Gunner. I'm sure they'll be by for kisses or drinking my coffee because that's what they normally do. They're exploring. Alright, so... I really want to be able to shoot by the pool, but the, the, the density of this little porticolis, yes, pergola, tripod where the pool is, and so I'm using the basketball court today, and this way it shoots back, and it's nice. So let's get started with our practice. Good morning, Cheryl. All right. Let's get started. We're going to set our intention for the practice and settle in. We're going to see if we can just check in with the body. How's the body feel? Remember your questions. How's your energetic body feel? And you know what that means. You, you wake up feeling kind of, you know, you slept all night, but you still feel more tired when you wake up than when you went to bed, those kinds of things. Then how is your mental body? Are you upset about something that happened at work or with your spouse or family member? You're chewing on something, that's the mental body. So you want to try to check in with all three of those things before you start your practice so that when you're done with the practice, you can go back and go, you know, I was able to let that go or, oh, I worked through this. Good morning, good morning. It is beautiful, isn't it? And it's a lovely day. So we're going to slowly begin to bring that chin to the chest. Mm. 
we set the intention for the practice. And then we let the head come up. Right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. And back to the center. We take a second one more time to lift the pelvic floor, pull the navel in, just to check in to find out how the body's doing. To set the intention for your practice. And then we open those eyes, lace the fingers, pressing out, lifting up. Nice tall spot. Oh, really big. And then from there, we're going to release and turn it to the right. And then from there, left ear and left shoulder come down, right hand comes up. We're going to hang out here a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly coming back up. And back to the center. Hands come out and up. I was just checking if we were still there, but if not then here, hmm. I hope you guys can see me. It's kind of hard out here to get internet and make sure that we're still here. All right, I'm going to assume that we're still here and I'm gonna keep working. I'm not really gonna be able to see too many comments, I think, because the internet, my phone can use cellular. So, if there's a problem, Barbara, you need to text me because it'll come to my watch. And then that way I can fix it because I won't be able to see it. So, we're going to come forward and lengthen out. Nice long stretch here. Feel the crown of the head. <sighs> And then slowly, we're going to come back up. Nicely done. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? You doing yoga with me? We're going to change the cross of those legs. We're going to let that left arm come down. Right arm reaches. Nice big stretch. Open through that armpit. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five, hand comes up. We're gonna bend at the elbow, twist it through. Nice big stretch here, and one. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna reach out, stretch, and back up. You gonna let me put my arm down? Okay, thank you. And stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Twist it on through. Hello, Daisy. Can I have a kiss? No kisses today. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And unwind and lengthen. Coming back up. Ah. Oh. And put those arms behind. Roll those shoulders back. Oh, I love you, Leanne. Good morning. Hello, sweet pea. Good morning. And we're going to lean forward and lift those hands. Hey. Hey. Hi, Roscoe. <laughs> Three, four, five. And slowly come back up. Hands come behind, or in front, a nice big stretch. There is no love like dog love. 
Oh, love like dog love. And gently reach for one, two, three, four, five. As we come up, we're going to bring those knees up. We're going to cross the arms, roll the back. We're going to have just enough the same for us to kind of wake up the part that we like that's because it's the same consistency. And then enough diversity that we just don't get bored with that practice. I'm going to bring those knees up, change the cross, roll the back. Two, three, four, five. We're going to bring those knees back and hug them just a bit. Trying to stretch out your lower back. Feeling that work. Two, three, four, five. Nice. We're going to just rotate right on over, hands and knees. Now with this one, we're going to just tap back into the hips just a little bit. We're going to let that right knee come out to the side. Now once we get that right knee out to the side, we're going to do circles with that knee. Well, hello. Nice big circles, waking up that knee. Now change the direction. Nice, we're gonna put that knee down. We're gonna switch to the other side. We're gonna do big circles here with that knee. I see you. And then we're going to change the direction. And back to the center. We're going to turn those toes down dog. Good morning, Frank. Good morning. Mm. I give you kisses. <sighs> nice long down dog. I have a double dog. Mm. Now. From this down dog, we're going to do that same thing. We bring that knee up. It's going to feel different because we have that extension. We're lifting the weight of the body up. And switch. Holy smokes, the mosquitoes. And release. I'm going to have to step to the front of the mat here. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Inhale all the way up. And release. Look at her rubbing because of the mosquitoes too. All right, so for my self-preservation, not yours, we're gonna do more flow so I can move more. Here we go. Come to the front of the mat and inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips flat back, forward folding, stepping that right foot back. And inhale all the way up. One, two, three, four, five. From there, we're going to let those hands come down. Step back into plank. Cobra. Three, four, five. Hands slowly come down. Come to the ball of that foot. Step forward. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. Inhale. All the way up. Hands come back down. Another one. Inhaling up. Exhale forward folding. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. We're going to step that right foot back. Grounding that right foot. And. Completely frozen, huh? That's helpful. Alright, I'm working on it. And working again. Okay. Warrior two. One. Two. 
three, four, feel rooted, grounded through those feet, five, hands come down, step back to plank, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, downward dog, right foot travels forward, grounding that back foot, we're going to cartwheel up, warrior two, one, two, three, four, five, hands come down, come to the ball of that foot, stepping forward, fingertips flat back, forward folding, inhale all the way up, hands come down, release it out, yay! It is absolutely exquisite out right now. I know that it's going to be like 96 later, but right now, it's beautiful. And you come to the front of the mat. Inhale it up. Exhaling forward fold. Fingertips flat back. Forward folding. We're going to soft bend those knees. Send that right foot back. Now we're going to cartwheel up so that we can come up into that warrior two. But once we're in the warrior two, we're gonna let that left arm come down, right arm reach. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna let that hand come down. <laughs> come down and step back to down dog. My double down dog. Nice, big down dog. And from that down dog, we're going to step that right foot up. We're going to cartwheel up. Warrior two. And let that right elbow come down. Left arm reaches. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice big stretch. Turn that armpit up towards the sky. And five. Hand comes down. Come to the ball of left foot. Stepping forward, fingertips flat back. Nice big stretch here. And forward fold. Maybe shake the head a little bit. Feel those hamstrings waking up. Yay, hamstrings. And then inhale all the way up. And down. Good job for us, right? Move it, move it, move it. Hey, you. I have a yoga buddy. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. We're going to step that right foot back. Move on. Move it here. And we're going to ground that foot. We're going to come up to warrior two. But after we're in warrior two, we're going to come into reverse warrior. Keep front knee bent. Let that leg be opening just a bit because we have a tendency to do that. We want to keep it open. Right hand down, left hand up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to revolve here. We're going to bring that right arm around and place it on the knee. Palms come together, looking at elbow, one, two, three, four, nice big stretch, five, we're going to put those hands down, step back, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga, up or tall guard cobra, downward dog, and right leg comes forward, Grounding that foot. Cartwheel up into warrior two. And reverse. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now we're going to take this back arm, revolve it around. Palms together. One. Two. Three four, five, 
Hands come to the floor. Come to the ball of left foot, stepping forward, lengthening up, forward fold, and just kind of enjoy that forward fold. Feel that stretch, hamstring stretch, back body stretches. See how you're feeling. Maybe give them a little rub. And then inhale all the way up. Hands come down. Let's see if we can get a few balances in. We're going to start with that left foot heel, ball, toe, so we can work on tree. Put the weight on that left foot. We're going to lift those toes, lower the toes. We're going to take hands come to the heart. One, two, three. Five. Let's put on some branches. One, four. Five. We're going to let those hands come down, release it out, walk it out. Right foot, heel, ball, toe. Put the weight into that foot. We're going to take that left foot in place. Hands come to the heart. One, two, three, four, five. Hands come up. One, two, three. Four, five, hands come down and release and walk it out. What'd you say, Daisy? What'd you say? You like yoga? Yeah. We're glad you're here. Now we're gonna come to the front of the mat. Bending and stretching, checking in. Let's do chair pose. We're gonna scoop through coming into chair, filling in lower back, bend those knees, send the hips back. Bend the knees, send the hips back. One, two, three, four. Forward fold. We're going to step back, maybe. And we're going to come into a crescent posture. And we're going to slowly come up into that crescent posture. Feeling that work on that back ankle. Pushing through it, lengthening up. Nice full stretches here. One, two, three, four, five. Now, a lot of our movements already have been these standing postures. Not a lot happening in the shoulders. So we're going to lace behind, rolling the shoulders back. We're going to come forward. You can put your left shoulder onto your left knee and let your arms come up. One, two, three. Four, five, hands slowly come down, bring those hands down, stepping back into plank, from plank, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, downward dog, nice bend and stretch here, right leg travels forward, now remember, we're on the ball of this foot, this is a crescent posture, working through ankle, nice balance, hands come up sinking into this posture. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to come forward. Hands come behind, rolling shoulders back. As we put that right shoulder on right knee, we let the hands lift up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to let those hands come down. And then we're going to step forward. Fingertip and forward. Hands come down. Release it out. Nice yoga practice. All right, we're going to do another balance. We're going to try dancer posture. I'm going to turn to the side so that you could see that rotation. So the last pose we did was crescent, where those arms lifted up. So we've pre-stretched the shoulders back. So we're going to start with that left foot, heel ball toe placing that foot. We're going to lift the toes and lower the toes. Put the weight into left foot. We're going to bend, but we're going to see if we can turn this hand open so that you're opening here through the line of the shoulder. Grab inside a foot. Bring knees together. Left hand is up. See if you can fold forward. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, gently release and put that foot down. 
keep catching them. <laughs> the other side, right foot, heel, ball, toes. Lift those toes, lower the toes. And we want to put all the weight into that right foot. We're going to bend that left foot, grab it. So I've opened that arm. Hand is up. Forward fold. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly we'll come back up, release that foot out, and walk it out. Nicely done, all right? So we got a chance to work through those feet, feel grounded. Then we started opening through the shoulder, adding in balance. So let's see if we can add a bind in here. That's going to get more into the shoulders, but you really have to ground through the feet. We're going to bind in a type of side angle. We've already practiced our side angle, so our body should be able to get a little deeper than normal. We're going to come to the front, inhaling up, exhaling forward. Fingertips flat back, forward folding, bend the knees. We send that right foot back, and we're going to cartwheel up, warrior two. Now, from here, we're going to take this left hand, and we're going to slowly bring it to the floor. And we're going to set the top hand down. So it may be you have to do it in chunks. You might have to bring your elbow to your knee first, letting the body and the tissue uh, warm up and lengthen. And then that hand come down. Sorry for the pause. I just saw the bigger dog pee on the smaller dog, which means I have to wash the dogs before I can bring them in. Sorry, it was just a pause. So we're going to bend that elbow and then see if maybe that left arm comes behind. Right arm comes in. So we're going to see if we can make contact with those arms. Maybe yes, maybe no. And then in the beginning, when you try to grab, your shoulder's going to want to dip. But you're going to want that shoulder to be open. So you're going to try to open that shoulder, looking up. One. Two. You're going to feel it definitely in the hip. You would think you'd feel it more in the arm, but you're going to feel it in that left hip. As you push your hips forward, that left knee goes left. Four. Five. And gently release. Oh, no, ma'am. I just saw him pee on you. Go, go, go. And step back to down dog. Bending and stretching. We're going to bring that right leg. Come forward. Cartwheel up. Warrior two. Now, maybe you're going to start here. Maybe you can let the hand come all the way down. Once you get that hand down, you're going to try to see if you can bend this elbow and let the shoulder pass down past the knee. So you're going to bend that a little bit. We're going to bring that arm behind and see if you can grab. So the hips are gonna to wanna to stick out. We wanna push them forward. One. See if you can turn the shoulders up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Gently release. Whew. And step forward. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold and inhale all the way up hands come down <sighs> a lot of work in the shoulder especially that rotation you can feel the all in the collarbone start to open up on both sides but a lot in the hip which was funny i felt it more in the arm on one side but more in the hip on the other side and you're going to have that all right come back to the center There we go. Back to the center. Inhaling up. Exhaling, forward fold. Fingertips flat back. And stepping back into down dog. Just playing with the body. Seeing how that feels. We're gonna let that right leg come up. We're gonna bend the knee, open through the front of the hip. One. Two, three, four, five. We're going to put that right foot down. 
left foot comes up. We're going to bend that knee, open through the front of the hip, and one, two, three, four, five. We're going to put that foot down. We're going to bend and stretch. So we're going to come forward a little bit because we're going to try, since there's so many dogs, I am inspired. We're going to practice flipping the dog. So we're going to let that leg come up. We're going to bend the knee. And maybe you can go ahead and flip or you can bend and touch and come up. Or those of you at home who want to flip, you lift the leg, bend the knee and flip. One, two, three, four, five. And rotate back to down dog. We have to move a little bit, Daisy. She doesn't care. <laughs> The leg comes up, bend the knee. So if you're modifying, you're going to bend, bend the knee, place that one down, and rotate up. If you would rather flip, you're going to lift, bend, and flip. One, two, three, four, five. And that and hand comes down. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Ah, nice work. And step to the front of the mat. Fingertips flat back. Forward fold. And inhale all the way up. Hands come down. Feel that work. So we're going to do a little wrists here. And we're going to stretch out those ankles. So we're going to put the bottom or the top of the foot down so that you can stretch through the front of that foot. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to bring that foot forward. The other one comes back. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to take this and rotate. Make sure you rotate in the opposite direction. And let's try that other side. I'm going to turn so you can see. And change the direction. Nice. And walk it on out. So from there, we're going to bring those legs nice and wide. Not too wide. We're going to come into a squat. But we want to be just a little bit bigger than hip. It makes it a little easier to come down. We try not to rotate the feet out, but we might have to do that for your hips to have a little bit of flexibility. So we're going to try to see if we can come down into a squat. Palms are together, really opening through the hips. Feeling that work. One, two, three, four, Five. Left hand comes down. Right hand comes up. One, two, three, four, five. Hands come back together. Right hand comes down. Left hand comes up. And one, two, three, four, five. We're going to bring those hands back. We're going to extend them forward sit back on the butt. So we're back to our seated position. We can get some more seated postures done. Checking in with you guys. I lost you all. But I hope that you're still there. You're still practicing. Seeing the, the swarms of the <laughs> mosquitoes here. There you guys are. Good morning, good morning. You guys are still here. Yay. Seeing my calamities this morning. Giggling. I hope you're giggling. Because I'm giggling. All right. Coffee and more yoga. All right. Now, once we're here, we want to do some circles. So, we already warmed up the hips from our standing postures. Now we're going to see if we can get in that lower back a little bit. This morning, I woke up and my back was just 
a wreck. And it's because I realized I, I slept a long time. I went to bed at 10 and I normally get up at five in that direction. I didn't move all night. It was at the same position. So my back was like, oh. <laughs> so this is really unwinding all of that. Nice work here, really big stretches. Oh yay, Valerie, thanks for the check-in. I need it. And we get back to the center. Nice tall spine, really lengthen up. Now, from here is where we're gonna pick up the seated postures we did earlier. So we're going to bring those legs in and out. Nice tall spine and forward fold. And you're gonna feel more mobility in the hip, more mobility in lower back as we lean forward. Hanging out here. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Nice work. We're gonna take that right leg and bring it over the left and come forward. Nice big stretch. Isolating just one leg more than the other with that leg being pulled across, we push down and over into right hip and lean. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come up. We're gonna bring that foot next to the knee and turn to the right, tall spine. One, two, three, four. That foot, we're gonna rock it out. One, two, five. We're gonna take that foot, place it on the inside of the thigh. But we're gonna turn the torso towards right knee. And once we get the torso towards right knee, we're getting ready to lengthen sideways, lateral movement through your side. We want to put that left hand on your right leg. We're going to lift that right arm up, nice elongation through right side. We're going to lean over. And one, two, three, four, five. And Slowly, we're gonna come back up. Turn the torso towards leg and lean forward. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly coming up. Right hand comes behind. Press down to come up and lengthen. One, two, three, four, five, and that booty comes right back down. We're gonna take that right foot and place it on the inside of that left thigh and pull that knee up. Nice big stretch here. We feel that work in the hip. Maybe not as much as before, so you're able to get deeper. Two, three, four, maybe you can, Bring that leg all the way down. And five. And then we'll switch. We'll bring that leg up. We'll bounce them out. And lengthen forward. A nice big stretch here. Two, three, four. Five. As we come up, right leg comes over. Is it the right leg? No, it is the left leg that's coming over. And we're gonna lengthen forward. We feel that hamstring stretch, the elongation all the way down through left hip as we lean forward. Is it, are you practicing with me this morning? Hmm? You keeping me safe? Thanks for that. Two, three, four, five. Slowly we come up, foot comes next to the knee. We're gonna rotate to the left. One, two, three, four, 
five. We're gonna come back to the center and rock it out. Nice work for all of us here. And one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna take that foot, we're gonna place it in. And we're gonna turn the body to that left knee. And so we have turned the body towards that left knee. We're gonna put that right hand on the knee so that we can do the lateral movement to the leg. We're allowing that shoulder to slowly come down, left hand comes up. As we lengthen, we're gonna slowly fold over. You see if we can grab those feet. One, two, three, four, five. Slowly come back up. Now when we come up, we're gonna turn the heart. Now we're turning the heart towards that right knee. And we're gonna to start to fold forward. Just, yes. Oh my heavens, thank you. Excuse me, folks. Sorry about that. One of the dogs escaped and the neighbor had to bring him back. Dogs. <laughs> We're going to lean forward and one, two, three, four, five. And slowly. Why didn't you tell me? And bring that leg, no, this leg up into the thigh and up. I didn't do the back. I'm discombobulated now, guys. Give me a second. We'll catch up. We're going to finish this before we do the lift. One, two, three, four, five. And gently release. We'll put that foot down. We're going to put the hand behind and stretch. One, two, three, four. Five. And booty comes right back down and straighten both of them. Where did you go? Why did you leave? No, because I'm not playing with you. And lengthen forward. Nice big stretch here. One, two, three, four, five. And slowly come up. We're going to end the practice, I think, now. So we're going to bring those knees in. We're going to pull them up, and we're going to slowly come into those knees. Nice big stretch. Rocking from side to side. Thank you for those kisses. Thank you for those kisses. We're going to bring those knees over to the left. Nice big smile. Bring those knees back to the center and over to the right. So glad to have the opportunity to be outside and to share with you. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna bring the, those knees back to the center. Oh. We're going to put those hands down beside the body. We're going to lift those hips up. Nice big stretch. Opening through the hips. So the legs are parallel. There's a nice contraction. So we did a lot of forward folding. And now we want to do some back bending. And this bridge is going to count as back bending. We want to be able to contract these muscles in the back so that we have some balance. Two, three, four. Five, and slowly rolling back down. Ah, and if you can, you put those legs down for Shavasana. And release. Ah. 
it is beautiful out. We've had a chance to move. We've set the intentions for our practice, but we can set the intention for the day here. The day still has such potential, so many options. We release the feet, the ankles, the shin and calf. We move through the knees and into the thighs. We soften the glutes and pelvic belly. We release the lower back and navel. back and solar plexus, shoulder blades and heart. We let the collarbones lift up and the neck is long. The face is soft. We find the breath. We feel that inhale traveling up back body and that exhale coming down the front body. Inhaling up back body, exhaling down front body. Full breathing here. So for those of you at home, maybe you want to stay here with your pups. Maybe contemplate of how amazing your day is going to be. Or maybe you begin to move those fingers and toes. And maybe you bring your knees up and windshield wiper those legs. And then maybe you roll to the right side. And then slowly pushing back up. Nice work here. Tall spine. We made it through dogs escaping and mosquitoes and the internet. Yay. Hands to the heart. We remind ourselves of all the amazing things we have to be thankful for. Another day to practice that I can practice, that I have a community to practice with, food to eat, I have my health, there's such a list. We send out love and kindness and compassion to those who need it. We're going to end the practice with an om if you're comfortable. Inhaling. Om. Bowing forward. Namaste. Peace be with you. Go safely. And thank you for joining me this morning on your Saturday morning. Yay and yay. So I know we will have a bed yoga. I don't know if we're going to do it tomorrow. We might do it on Memorial Day and we'll do a yoga practice from bed. Guaranteed no mosquitoes on that one. Um, the only reason we might not do it tomorrow is the Unity Church is finally going to start having services, but they're going to do them outside, but they start at 10. And I think I would like to go and see my Unity family, except this class ends at 10. So I haven't figured that out yet. But tomorrow there will be yoga. I just don't know if it'll be bed yoga. 
So I love you. Big hearts. Love to you. I'll be putting a uh, description in so that you can find this practice later. I don't know if it's, you know, uh, practice gone to the dogs or, or mosquito massacre. But I'll think of something cheeky to write. I love you really, really, really big. Thanks for the outpouring and those messages. I'm going to go back and read them. Um, for those of you, especially Valerie, texting me so that I knew you guys were still there. It was a, made me really happy. Helps me figure out how we'll do the rest of the practices this week. I love you. Enjoy your Saturday.